Potter is dead! <laughs> In the woods of Morasco, just outside the Polish city of Poznan, Magdalena and Lukas are on a hunt. Their quarry? Meteorites. Using a probe to detect electromagnetic anomalies in the Earth, they listen for the distinctive sound that alerts them to a hidden bounty beneath their feet. If the probe makes a noise, it means there's something there. You can also tell how deep and how big the object is by whether the signal is high-pitched or lasts a long time. But you can never be sure it's a meteorite. But this is no wild goose chase. In October this year, their dedication paid off in a big way. This 261-kilogram iron meteorite found by Magdalena and Lukas, buried two and a half meters below the forest floor, is the largest meteorite ever discovered in Poland, and scientists believe it could provide new clues about the composition of the Earth's inner core and even the creation of the universe. It's believed to have crash-landed to Earth around 5,000 years ago, during the largest meteor shower ever to hit this part of Europe. So far, geologists have unearthed around 1.5 tons of meteorite fragment from the area, but until now, nothing of this size. In the majority of cases, meteorites are magnetic, just like the one we see here. They're usually black and covered with a mineral crust, graphite for example. Then there's the weight. A meteorite weighs a lot more than normal rock. 
Having lay undiscovered beneath meters of soil and leaf debris for thousands of years, cleaning up the precious fine has been a painstaking task, but its market value is believed to be around $400,000. For the time being, its home is here at the University of Poznan. But for Magdalena and Lukas, it's back to the woods, where the hunt for the next piece of treasure from out of this world continues. Tom Bailey, BBC News. Well, it's all bollocks, isn't it? Dennis, that's what the men would say, isn't it? It's all bollocks. Ranker's language.